Hi, I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'd like to introduce you to something new, fairly new for myself even, and that is how to crimp a PEX pipe onto a PEX fitting. Now I know for the professional, this is something that you're familiar with and you've been doing this for quite some time, but I think I'd like to take a moment and explain this to the novice who's never seen such a thing. PEX pipe, PEX stands for cross-link polyethylene, it's very, very popular in the plumbing business. In fact, across the United States and the world for that matter, it's really taking over as the preferred method of, of plumbing any building. Uh, what they're trying to do is to get away from a lot of the copper, the soldering, and all the things associated with that. So again, you'll find that PEX pipe is something that uh, even the homeowner is being directed towards using. So hence, I wanted to make a video to show you how to crimp this pipe. Now a little bit more on PEX itself. I really like PEX. I think it exudes some qualities and characteristics that you just don't find in the other hard piping like copper or PVC or even steel. First and foremost, being flexible, it's a very forgiving system. If we get water hammer in the system, this PEX has a much lower propensity for damage and breakage than does say a copper pipe or a, a CPVC or PVC pipe. So it's very forgiving in that sense. Also from the standpoint of dealing with freezing temperatures, we've got a little bit more forgiveness with this pipe than we would with a hard metallic pipe or even a hard plastic pipe. Now that's not to imply that we want to ever let it freeze, but again, it's a little more uh, forgiving in a freezing condition. And really when it comes to joining the pipe together, that's the ultimate thing about PEX. We don't have to do any soldering. We're not gonna deal with any of the heat, the flux, all the things associated with soldering. Same thing with gluing together pipe. We're not gonna deal with the glues and the smells or even going farther with a steel pipe. That's something that we would have to cut and thread each end and thread it all together. So again, dealing with PEX pipe, it's just a wonderful way to plumb a system, very fast, very straightforward, and that's why I'd like to do this video and show you how to crimp it together. Now, once again, this is really for the novice that's not familiar with it. So what I have here is a piece of PEX pipe, and we also have our CR fitting. And we're going to go ahead and crimp this fitting onto the, C, uh, the pipe onto the CR fitting. Now, first and foremost, it's done with a copper crimp ring in this particular case. We also have other varieties and methods of crimping the pipe together, but this video is going to really deal with the copper crimp ring. Well, I want to point out, you need to use the crimp rings to put this stuff together. We don't want to take a normal pipe clamp or, uh, say, a hose clamp and try to crimp this onto the fitting because it just doesn't get it tight enough. It will leak. So the proper method is first is to cut off the end of our PEX pipe and make sure that it's perfectly square, make sure that it's free of all burrs and any debris. And once we get that cut and squared, we can go ahead and slide on our copper crimp ring. We just want to get that slid onto the pipe. Next, we would go ahead and insert the CR fitting into the pipe itself. Now, this particular fitting, it's got a shoulder on it. So in other words, the PEX pipe has to go all the way up to that shoulder and it will reach a mechanical stop. Once we get it up to that point, we can go ahead and slide our copper ring forward onto the barbed area. In fact, I'm gonna turn this around. We can probably see this in the camera that there's a series of barbs on the CR fitting. And when I tighten up that copper crimp ring, it makes the pipe bite into those individual little uh, nubs here. And that's what helps facilitate a good seal. So again, just to reiterate, we've slid our copper ring onto the pipe itself, and then we insert our CR fitting into the pipe such that the edge of the pipe comes in contact with the shoulder of that CR fitting. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we've got a crimping tool specifically designed for these types of fittings. We wanna go ahead and open that tool up, and we need to make sure that our copper is within an eighth to a quarter of an inch away from the edge of the pipe itself. So I've got that slid pretty close to an eighth of an inch. We go ahead and open up our tool and we get our pipe inserted. And we wanna make sure that it's perfectly centered within the tool itself. In other words, the tool has to be perfectly perpendicular to that crimp ring. Once we get that in there, we basically just give this thing a good hard squeeze. And what that'll do is it'll compress that copper around the PEX making the PEX bite into all of these little protrusions on the CR fitting. And again, that facilitates a good seal. Now I'm gonna go ahead and release it. I'm pulling it off. And to make sure that we have a proper, properly crimped ring, we have what's called the go no-go gauge. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is to slide this onto the go gauge, and then you're also gonna to wanna to check it and make sure that it doesn't fit on the no-go gauge. In either case, if it doesn't fit on the go or it doesn't fit and it does fit on the no-go, that means that we have a bad joint. What we would want to do then is go ahead and cut that joint off, 
re-square up the pipe, and start all over with a new crimp ring and fitting. In this particular case, I've checked it with the go gauge and it fits perfectly, but it will not on the no-go. So that makes me comfortable knowing that I've got a good proper PEX joint there that's going to be leak free. Once we get this all done, like any piping system, we've completed all of our crimps, we're going to want to pressure test this system, make sure that our joints are good and tight and that we don't have any leakage. But I think it should be, uh, you, you could see how quickly that was done. If you compare this to like a copper system, we would have to sand the copper, apply flux, heat it up, apply our solder. We're dealing with a lot of things there, including fire in a building that we really don't want to deal with. So once again, I really tell you folks, PEX is the superior method of plumbing. Crimping it together and putting the fittings on couldn't be simpler than what you saw right here. And I would strongly encourage you to look deeper into PEX. It's available at most of the big box stores. Uh, Zern, we have a complete cross link polyethylene division. Uh, we can answer any question for you that you may have about it. So again, please research this. I think you'll find it a very superior method of connecting pipe.